Hello, welcome to the Avinissue Help Library. In this video, we will discuss about ETL tool Avinissue. So in Avinissue, we will discuss about reformat component. So reformat component will discuss about basic concept, list of some important parameter and runtime behavior and some examples. So in this video, it will be help you if you are new to the Avinissue tool and if you are preparing for the Avinissue. So let's start. As we know that reformat is the component that we are using for dropping the field. Uh, we are adding some target field and uh, we are doing some transformation. We are doing some combination of the field. So this type of activity we can do in reformat component. For reformat component that I have highlighted some list of parameters that we are going to be discuss in this video. So first we discuss about the count parameter. Why do we require the count? So count parameter if you are giving to 2 then your output port will be increased to 2. If you, by default it will be 1. So you can see here there is the output port is there so this will be increased so maximum you can give that whatever you required there is no limit to provide the maximum count if you giving that output number is 2 then your reject port also will be increased error port also will be increased and transform parameter also will be increased okay but error log port that will be single next we have select parameter so select parameter this is the parameter you use if you want to filter the record before coming to uh, reformat component it will be filter and it will be passed to the reformat component next we have index output index and output indexes these two are very important for this uh, component so output index and output indexes you can see that i have given some example here that if you are passing some record so then it will be decide whether this record is sending to which port only one time that record you can send to the output and output indexes the same record single record you can if you want you can send to multiple output the details we discuss about below in runtime behavior or some examples we give you just this is the high level that i am telling here next we have transform the transform as you know that once the uh, component it decide whether which one you, you are using output index or output indexes then it is coming to the transform so in transform just we are doing the mapping from source to target which value you want or you are doing some modification so transform parameter if you do not specify a value either output index or output indexes the component send every input record to every transform output port for example that I have given here, let's suppose you have two output port and there are no reject then 100 record will be sent to one output port and 100 record will be sent to another output port. So total 200 record will be sending to your output port. Okay. So next we will discuss about that reject threshold. Reject threshold it having three options that report on first reject never about and use limit and train so these are the three that we use for details we discuss some another videos because this is the parameter common for most of the component we have some other, another video that is details we will be discuss now we will discuss about runtime behavior of reformat component the runtime behavior that component will be decide whether which parameter should start okay 
so as we know that i have given some sequence order then first we know that reformat read the record from input and second we have select parameter in select parameter that we have to decide which record should come to reformat component and which record we need to discard that is filter type of expression that we can provide if false then all the record will be discarded you cannot capture the discarded record and if true then record will be come to reformat component if your expression is providing or producing null then it will be write error and your job will be failed if you have given reject threshold as never about then those ne rejected record you can capture in the reject board next we have output index and output indexes i have written here some example as we know output index and output indexes the so first priority is output indexes if you have defined in both the places then your first priority would be output indexes so output indexes that same record let's say i have one record that record is having gender equal to male then then the that record will be sent to my zero port or and also third port means this two port that record is sending if i have only female in that record then that record is sending to only one single port and rest of the if you have if, if your condition is not satisfied then rest it is sending to your third port next we have output index that output index that is single whether i same record either you are sending to zero port or one port so that record you cannot send to multiple output port the transform for reformat that i have given one example like this is the output record number that i am sending next in sequence that will be increment the value and salary i am just giving like to if salary indicator that salary is my greater than 20000 then my indicator is a else b so this is the validation that i am going checking and i am passing the value hard code value salary i am passing as it is and gender i am just checking whether this gender is not member male and female then i am reject rejecting that error so as i am rejecting through the force error as i am giving the message like third gender so this record if we, if it is coming male or female then it will be sending to output port if it is coming some apart from male or female then it will be sending to the reject port but make sure that if you are using the force error then you have to specify the never about otherwise your component will be failed 